What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a really exciting video for you today. Today we're going to be checking out a handful of condos in that entry level price point downtown. We're going to be looking at condos in and around that $500,000 range. I've done videos like this before where I've taken you on tours and kind of showed you various price points and these are typically the videos that you guys like the most. So I figured I was going out on some showings today with some clients. I figured I'd bring you guys along and kind of give you an idea of what you can get downtown for about $500,000. These clients are looking in that low mid $500,000 range, which is a really interesting price point right now because as interest rates go up, a lot of investors who own a lot of these types of condos, you know, studios, one bedrooms, entry level condos are, you know, really starting to feel their expenses, you know, get higher and higher, especially if you own seven or eight of these, you know, and you're feeling all those interest rates. A lot of these investors are actually starting to look to sell some of these condos. So I've seen a lot more, you know, studios and one bedrooms hit the market. And I know a lot of renters out there are really starting to feel those higher rents and they're just like, okay, well, if I'm going to pay this much in rent, maybe I should just spend a little bit more and actually go buy a condo. So a uh, really interesting opportunity seeing a lot more, you know, end users or first time buyers actually buying these types of condos rather than investors. So this video will give you a really good idea of what you get in that low mid 500 range. As always, if you're liking the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you wanna get a full list of all the condos that are available downtown Toronto for under $550,000, just drop a comment down below, Toronto condo, and I'll make sure that I get you that full list. With that being said, I'm gonna meet my clients and we're gonna get this day started. Okay, so the first condo that we're seeing today is at 375 King Street West. This is at King and Spadina. It's about a 10 year old building, but it has aged really, really well. It's a one bedroom, 522 square feet, and it is listed for $528,000. That being said, they are likely expecting a little bit more, but it should still land within my client's budget. It's a junior one bedroom, so the bedroom is actually on the interior of the unit, and and it has a really nice balcony with a view. Now, that being said, in this area, no view is safe. There's condos literally going up everywhere like this one right here that's definitely gonna block the view in a couple of years. All in all, really good option for the low mid 500 range. And, you know, somebody had broken the fridge handle. I swear it wasn't us. Okay, so the first condo they actually really liked. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot bad to say about it. It is just a really solid one bedroom, great location. It's in a little bit of an older building than they would have liked, but that is probably the one thing that could potentially keep it within their budget. And even then it's gonna be a battle. So it's definitely going on our potential list, but now we are actually gonna head down King Street to go view another condo in King West. And hopefully we can find parking because I know parking is always a battle at this building. This building is located at 629 King Street West, and yes, I did find a parking spot right out front, which is super rare, but this condo is very similar to the last one we saw in the fact that it's a one bedroom. It's a little bit smaller at 405 square feet, and it's listed at $549,000. We figure the price will be negotiable, so it should land within their budget. I will say, it did smell like smoke in the condo, but the view was really nice. That being said, there were some low-rise buildings adjacent, and the view could potentially should be blocked at some point but if you're looking for a king west condo this is about as king west as it gets my client's biggest reservation about the unit was the fact that the kitchen was right in the living room and the fact that that little fan was not doing a whole lot to get rid of the cigarette smell Next, we make our way down King Street a little bit further to DNA Condos at 1030 King. This is a studio apartment. This one is 382 square feet, listed for $399,000. That being said, it does have an offer date. So they are gonna be expecting more than 399, likely gonna go right around that $500,000 range. What you see is what you get. No balcony, but it did have an incredible view. And I mean, I will say it was interesting to see, you know, how well it was laid out for such a small condo. You can definitely see how they use the space. The biggest selling feature was definitely the view, but they did have two balconies right next to your unit that could almost see inside, but a pretty good unit nonetheless. 
Okay, for the next one, we're heading to Liberty Village, which is actually super interesting because these clients have uh, bought a condo off of me before. The sister actually bought a condo in Liberty Village and this building is across the street and then this one would be for the brothers. So um, they're really excited for these ones. We've got two to view in this building. We've got a one bedroom, which is actually really nicely laid out. And then we also have a studio that comes with parking. So we're gonna go check it out and see what they think of those. The first thing we noticed as soon as we got to this building, like many others in Liberty Village, is that parking is in demand. There's people racking up tickets, literally parked everywhere. But the amenities were incredible. There was this really cool staircase that took you to all the different amenity floors, which included the fitness room, included the pool, the spa, and the billiards room. Now, the first unit that we saw in this building was a 467 square foot, one bedroom listed for $499,000. Now, they were listed below market value, holding back offers. So it was gonna go over 499, but I figured it still would land within our budget. And I will say, this is about as well laid out of a one bedroom as you're gonna find. Our only reservation on it was it was near the train tracks, but we did wait to see the train go by and it wasn't that loud. Next, we went upstairs to go check out a 365 square foot studio apartment. This one came with parking and a locker and is listed at $544,000. It is a little bit above our budget, but I figured we could definitely negotiate the price down seeing as it's been sitting on the market for a few weeks now. And with this one being higher up, it definitely had a nicer view and it was a little bit farther away from the tracks. Okay, so we just wrapped up our showings with these clients for the day. It went really good. They've got a couple really good potential options that they actually would consider writing an offer on. So for them, it's really important that they feel like they got a good deal. So it's my job now to, you know, run some numbers for them, show them all the past recent sales. I'm gonna make some phone calls, find out who's the most motivated because the market has shifted a little bit, you know, before where we were getting, you know, some condos were getting 10 plus offers. Now we're actually able to negotiate. So I'm gonna go find out who's, you know, willing to do a deal. I'm going to tell them all the information and then they're basically going to pick which one they want to go for first. I'm really curious to hear which one you guys like the most. Make sure you drop that down below in the comment section. And I'm about to go grab some lunch and a Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to get that email sent to them with all the information and then they're going to go from there and hopefully we can write an offer here this afternoon. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.